Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm going to be answering a question that I received and it was on one of the ACE or the SAT practice books. And um, it falls under the category of permutation and combination and I thought that was a pretty relevant topic and it's covered in a lot of SAT and ACT math questions. So I decided to go over this question that I got. So it says, if the five cards shown above are placed in a row so that the square that's colored in is never at either end, how many different arrangements are possible? So first of all, if this colored in square cannot be at the end, it can only be in two positions. It can either be in, or three positions. It can either be the second, third, or fourth in line. So if this is um, the five positions for the cards, the uh, the square, the colored in square can only be placed either here, here, or here. And the reason why I'm putting it diagonal like this is because this is possibility one, possibility two, and possibility three. And then the rest are filled with the other cards. And there's only three main possibilities for the colored in square because it can't be on either end. And then afterwards, we are going to start fill in, filling in the other cards. So. In this um, first first position, we have four cards. We can either place this dot or the cross or the snowflake or the open dot. So we have four options here. And then once we place one of the four cards, in this option, we have three. And here we have two and here we have one. So if we multiply this, we have four times three times two times one which equals 24. So that means when we have this um, colored in square at the second position, we have 24 options. So there's 24 different ways we can arrange the other cards. And so that's the same for option two when the card is placed here. We have four, three, two, one. So we have 24. And same for the last one, 24. So in total, we have 24 plus 24 plus 24 options, or 24 times 3, which is 72. So the answer is we have 72 options. And the reason why we multiply 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is because, um, okay, I'm going to explain it another way. So let's say we have, this is going to be a different kind of problem but similar. So let's say we have three different positions and we have, we, we could either place A, B, or C in each um, position. And we can place them in any order. We just count how many different combinations of it are possible. And so the first one, we can either place A, B, or C. So we have three options here. And in the second one, if we place A or B or C, whatever it is, we only have two other options. And in the last one, we only have one option. So if we make this little tree diagram on the side, the first position we only have, we have option A, B, and C. So we can place either one of them. And in the second box here, we can either place, we only have two options for each, for each one. Because if we had already placed A, then we only have B and C left. If we had already placed B, we only have A and C. And if we had already placed C, we only have A and B. Okay. And then lastly, for the last one, we only have one option left, which is the remaining letter. So if we had placed A, B, then we're left with C. And A, C, and we're left with B. And B, A, we're left with, hold on, C. Wait, hold on. It's kind of frozen. Okay. Then B, C, and A, and C, A, B. Okay, it's freezing again. Okay, C, B, and A. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So, in the end, we have, we have six options. And if you follow it along this tree diagram that I made right here, it's like, we can either go down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, or down here. And in the end, we have six total options, which makes sense because three times two times one is six. And so what we're trying to do here is we're trying to say there's three options, which is A, B, and C. And following that, we have two more options. And last, we only have one option. So if we multiply those numbers, we are going to get six, the total number of combinations of letters that we have. And that's exactly what we've been doing here with four times three times two times one, because we know that this square is going to be placed here. So we're only left with 
four options. So basically it's like what we've been doing with the previous when we only had three options for the letters, but in this case we have four. And since this is already placed here, we just need to do four times three times two times one. And we can also make a tree diagram for that, but that would take a long time and we already know that it's four times three times two times one. So yeah, hope you understood this problem. If you have any questions, just write it in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching.